Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video I will be talking about a simple problem flip string to monotone increasing its index is 926 and it is a medium type problem of the liquid okay. So this problem basically has a, like a dynamic programming approach you need to store the frequency of prefix like the frequency of number of ones like from the suffix side like from the back side of this array okay you can store from the front uh, like from the beginning of this array but uh, you can store from the back side also like uh, for now uh, in this video i have explained the o of n time and o of one space solution okay so let's move further to understand this problem first a uh, binary string is a monotone increasing if it consists of some number of zeros possibly none followed by some number of ones possibly none okay so we would be given a binary string it means that every character is either a zero or a one okay and uh, it is a monotone increasing if and only if we have some sequence of zeros followed by some sequence of ones okay i will explain it out with the help of examples if you're not understanding this right now no need to worry about now you we have been given a binary string s and we can flip si changing it from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 okay so we can change any character from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 as we want and we have to return the minimum number of flips to make s a monotone increasing like a monotone increasing binary string we have to make by doing minimum number of flips okay so what we are going to do over here we are going to check it out all possible cases and take the minimum answer if you are not going to understand this right now again i am saying have patience and just go on through this video okay so we will begin with this example. I will talk about all these examples. First, let's look over the constraints first. You can see string length is like 10 power 5. So it means that uh, you cannot have a like uh, O of n square approach or something like that. So you must think for O of n log n solution or O of n if it is possible. So in this video, I will be talking about O of n time solution and O of 1 space solution in which how I can get the minimum number of flips needed to convert the given binary string into a monotone increasing like a sequence of zeros followed by a sequence of ones how we are going to do that let's understand this problem with the help of ex examples okay so let's move further okay so let us take an example like uh, let me pick up from here like triple zero double one followed by again triple zero Okay, now a uh, binary string is called a monotone string if and only if uh, like uh, suppose we have some binary string like S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5. Okay, now let me call it as a binary string where the characters are having like in a monotonic increasing type. A monotone increasing binary string is such that suppose we have some characters from S1 to S3 followed by some characters S4 to S5. Note that I am doing like that because uh, these all characters are of same type like S1, S2 and S3 are of same type and S1 must be exactly equal to 0 also as I have already said S1 must be equal to ok so let me write down clearly S2 and S2 must be equal to S3 and these all characters are same and it is 0 followed by some another character which is not equal to this 0 that is it is a binary string so I am talking about S4 exactly equal to S5 note that these characters are also equal and it is exactly equal to the character 1 ok so it means that it is a monotone increasing uh, binary string if and only if suppose we have some amount of zeros followed by some amount of 1 so this is a monotone increasing binary string and also as uh, given in the problem statement possibly none also like uh, we can have all the ones or we can also have the all the zeros you need to be very much careful about these two corner cases okay so suppose we have been given uh, this string as i have already said then what is the minimum number of flips required to convert this string to a monotone increasing binary string a flip is going to be defined as change this zero to this one so the new string would become this type right or if you are flipping it 0 right now or suppose we are flipping it the 1 so the string would becomes like this type ok so this is the our new string so what we are going to do is we are going to check it out all possible cases 
for the corner cases like uh, all ones like we have this one what we are going to do is we are going to flip all the zeros you can see to make all the characters as one we need to flip all the zeros to one okay so in this case our answer is number of zeros okay so let me explain it in a, another words if we want every character as one we need to flip every zero character that is present in this original string to character one that is we require a flip to convert a zero to one in this case our answer is like zeros okay this can be our minimum answer but this is not a minimum okay and what about the case when every character becomes zero like this type in this case you need to flip all the ones that is already present in our original string to zero so in this case uh, your answer would be like ones the count of ones okay so what i am going to do is i am going to initialize my answer as this can be minimum of number of ones that is present in our string or number of zeros that is present in our string okay now uh, you can see that i can write this zeros term as string length okay i can write this term as n minus where n is the string length minus number of ones okay this is the simplified term okay so to handle the corner cases what i am going to do is like i am going to initialize my answer with this term okay now the very important thing is like how to find out the answer like minimum answer for all the cases Okay, so let's take this string like as of previous one. Okay, now as I've already said, the definition of monotone increasing binary string is like we have some sequence of zeros followed by some sequence of ones. Okay, so we will check it out all possible cases. Like uh, suppose uh, here, like uh, this, like this is a tub. You can also understand this as a tub. Like we have a substring starting from the index equal to zero and up to index equal to i. we are just assuming that these all characters are zero okay like if you are not understanding this let me introduce with another term like suppose uh, i am talking about this uh, i equal to zero so it means that i am just assuming that what about if all the characters from index equal to zero up to index equal to i both inclusive becomes zero okay followed by all the characters which becomes one it means that i am just saying that suppose i am just assuming that from index equal to 0 up to this index all the characters become zero and all the other characters right after that becomes one so in this case what is your answer what is your current answer to change your current string to this format of string in this case you need to find out the answers efficiently okay and like uh, this is not one of the case we need to check it out all the cases like as i have already uh, as i have already said it is for i equal to 0 suppose i equal to 1 like i am assuming that all the characters from index equal to 0 up to index equal to i would become 0 and all the rest of the characters would become 1 in that case what is your current answer okay there might be some more cases like i becomes this one and the rest of becomes 1 like we have some 0 0 0 0 and here it becomes 1 1 1 1 what is your current answer in this case if you assume the orientation of a string like this one so in this case you need to change this 1 to 0 as you can see in this case also you need to change this 0 to 1 change this 0 to 1 change this 0 to 1 you need to do three flip operations in the right side part and one flip operation to the left side part okay now the thing is like we need to traverse i from every position from index equal to 0 up to the last index okay now for a particular index how we are going to find out the current answer in like in o of one time okay so for for that you need to have have some like a pre calculation and the pre calculation is like you need to know the number of ones that is present in the entire string okay let's call it as o n e s this is a variable okay now for answering a particular state like suppose we need to answer for this state okay then what we are going to do we are also maintaining a let's say now variable which is going to be initialized with zero and at a particular state order you can say at a particular index i when we try to find out the minimum like current answer for the ith state we need to know the now variable where now variable is going to store 
the number of ones that is present in the substring starting from index equal to 0 up to the current index. Okay, now if uh, I am at this state, like we have two partitions over here, you can see this one and this one. If I am at this state, now variable will be stored the number of ones that is present in the substring starting from 0 up to the current index i, which is number of ones is only 1. So now variable will store the current value as 1. Okay, note that now variable will be initialized with 0 when we start iterating from the beginning of the string and also we have some ones variable also. Okay, now we need to find out the current answer. Okay, so current answer is like we need to find out the flips that is being required and we want this string as our final string in the required format where you can see this is a string which is a binary string and in a monotonic increasing fashion. Now what we are going to do is we are going to flip all those ones like for, for the substring 0 to i we need to flip all the ones to 0 and the number of ones is being stored by this now variable. So my current answer would become now plus note that now stores the number of characters which are 1 in the prefix from 0 to i and we need to flip all those ones so that it becomes 0 like this type okay and also we need to flip all those zeros to the right of this i like from i plus 1 to the last index we need to flip all those zeros to ones so that it would become like this type okay so how to find that efficiently okay so you can see that 9 minus i minus 1 is the remaining uh, like length of the string okay and if we subtract it out number of ones that is present in the right side part then what will happen is like uh, you can see once is the total number of ones minus the current uh, ones that is present in the prefix if we subtract it out then we are left with the number of ones that is present in the right side part so it will be like once minus now so this is your current answer and you need to find this answer for every i from starting from 0 to the end of the string and uh, find out the minimum answer. So take minimum with this current variable every time after finding your current state of the answer. Okay, so let's head over to the code to find out the implementation. Okay, so let's look over the code like I submitted uh, I don't know like many times okay so 32 ms uh, 28 ms also have the code okay so what i have done is like i have taken n as strings length okay so let me just zoom it out yeah it is fine i think yeah it's visible now okay so n is strings length and first i will count down all the number of ones present in the string and first find out the minimum of this ones and n minus ones because like every character can be like all the characters are 1 or all the characters can be 0 in that case I need to flip all the like all the zeros to ones and all the ones to zeros respectively now now is going to show the number of ones present in the prefix from 0 to i now when we encounter the one character one I will increment my this variable okay now first like we need to find out the answer for the current state it will like uh, now plus the remaining length minus once minus now like first uh, term is like now is like number of ones that is present in the prefix we need to flip all that to make it zero and for the remaining part we need to flip all the zeros to ones and it will is, it is going to be calculated by the length of the remaining part minus number of ones that is present in the right part so it would give the number of zeros find out the minimum answer just print it it will give you all test cases fast so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.